You've probably seen physical pitch bend wheels on electronic keyboards. They're used to change the pitch in a continuously variable manner. Traditionally, in music recording, pitch bending is a way to smoothly slide between notes and is used as an artistic, creative flourish. While the new pitch bender in Audio Director can be used in this manner in post production, it's more useful as a tool to create standout sound effects in your video soundtracks. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can use Pitch Bender to give a bit more interest and impact to a video of a skateboarder executing a kickflip. Open Audio Director and drag your video clip into the library. The video clip we're using already has a background audio track added to it. We've applied a slow motion effect to the moment of the jump, and it's this part of the audio to which we want to apply the pitch bender in order to highlight this section. In the adjustment panel, click on adjust audio, then select pitch bender. The main viewing area showing waveforms of the clip soundtrack is now a preview window. The purple line in the middle of the window is the default pitch setting. Push the play button at the bottom of the interface, watch the video and pause it just before the moment of takeoff. Move your cursor to the purple pitch bender line and click at the point you've paused to add a keyframe. Hit play again, then pause once more at the point the skateboarder lands the jump. Again, add a keyframe at this point. We've now highlighted the start and end points of the section of audio we want to adjust. One of the things to be aware of with pitch bending is that the effect stretches or compresses time to compensate for pitch changes. So, after applying pitch bender, the audio may have to be tweaked so that it is synced to the video. As we've added a slow motion effect to this section, lowering the pitch at this point will help to enhance the effect. Let's try adding a bell-shaped curve in this section. Add another keyframe, midway between the two keyframes you've already made. You can then click and drag to pull this middle keyframe downwards. This will lower the pitch as the skateboarder enters the jump and then raise the pitch back to normal again as he lands it. To make the pitch transition smoother, we can click the settings icon next to the preset selector. Then check the spline curves box. You can add additional keyframes to reduce the distance of the transition if necessary. Preview your adjustment by clicking the play button again. The default semitone range for pitch bender is 48, meaning you only have to pull the bell shape a small way down to lower the pitch by a large number of semitones. When you preview the adjustment, you can see if the audio effect is synced to the video. If lowering the pitch has caused the effect duration to continue past the point the jump lands, simply click and drag the final keyframe a little earlier to resync. When you're satisfied, click Produce, then Produce Video. All that's left is to select your video format, profile, and destination, then click Produce.